Today we're going to be going through how to connect your Facebook fan page to a couple of different third-party companies that can help you to do more with your fan page itself. Now, as you all remember, whenever you're logged into Facebook, to get to your fan page, one of the easiest ways to do it is to go over to the right where you have your little arrow, click on it, and you can see the different fan pages that are listed there. So we'll go down to this one. Okay. Great. Now, of course, it's going to come up with your admin, and then it's going to go down to what else you're doing on your page. Okay, now part of what I'm going to help you show, though, is going in and creating pages through two different companies. One of them being WooBox, another one being PageMoto. Okay, so we're going to click on this one right here. It says 100 to 100K. Yeah, we're going to give it a little bit to pull up. All right, now you can see here it says powered by PageMoto. Okay, so you can see here's one that was created. Hmm, okay, great, there we go. So let's do this. Let's actually take a look, and here's PageMoto right here, so let's click on it. Okay, now here's what you want to do. Um, you can go in and you can sign up so you can connect now with Facebook. I would recommend that. It's the easiest way to remember what your login is going to be as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and there sign in. What you want to do is you want to look at what are the features, the plans, what can they actually do. Uh, I always like to go to plans first. And the plans that they have, they have a free one. It's best for personal use. It gives you one tab and one fan page. Okay, so now remember a fan page is the page you create. Within that fan page you can create multiple tabs. So this one you can do one tab, one fan page. Okay, that's not a problem, it's free. Okay, the other ones for like the basic you have at $375 a month, the pro you have at $795 a month, and the agency you have at $1995 a month where you're able to go ahead and do it. Now, notice the agency says great for resellers. So for people that are actually selling uh, this fan page creation service, okay? I just went with a free one. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. All right. And a lot of times if you're looking at your fan page, it's going to tell you this. It's going to say, hey, now wait a second. You're signed in as this and you need to go as John. Okay, so that's fine. So continue as John. Okay. So now... So we go sign in. All right, now let's go to features here. Okay, and every once in a while it'll have problems signing in. That's okay. All right, um, let's see here now. There we go. Now, notice it's saying that here's this. Okay. So I can go in and I can go to PageMoto. I'm going to edit it. Okay. So when you first come in and you're going to create a new page, it's going to actually ask you to choose a theme. You can then modify that theme. Then once you're in here, you can go in and it will help you fairly easy. It'll say, OK, click on the area you want to edit. Well, what if I want to edit this? This is my main header. This is where you can choose whether you want to link it or what you want to do. If there's a share button, uh, you know, the tagline on it, great. Okay, now we look at this next one. Okay, so it does this where you can upload a banner, figuring out what you want to do on the width, different things like that to make it fit. Okay. So then, as you can see, all we need to do is click on the element and it allows us to go ahead and get things done. Now I want you to notice here it tells you how big your image needs to be. Uh, 238 by 100. Okay, great. And you know when you've uploaded it, it's actually going to work. Now I made mine a little bit bigger where I believe I made mine 245 by 110 uh, so I could actually do some beveling on the edges there through my program uh, to be able to get that done. Okay, So really fairly easy to understand 
you go in you say okay yeah I'm done here with my editing great I'm done editing next step and then all right it's saving okay and once that's actually done saving what it's gonna do it's gonna take you here and it'll say okay do you want to do a fan gate now a light gate uh, is where people can't see the information unless they actually like it so that is an option that with page moto will actually cost you money to go ahead and do so we're not going to do that option this time again that is something that you can do if you decide to do it great otherwise next step and again where's where it's saying okay here's your free one choose your plan and then you can go ahead and publish now I didn't change anything so it doesn't matter what I push on publish okay while that's working what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go see let's see here there we go so now it's getting created there okay now we're gonna go to WooBox now WooBox is a different one where you can not only go in and create a page but you can also go in and create coupons sweepstakes polls group deals and uh, of course the custom Facebook tabs to woo your friends okay so let's go ahead and do this where we're logging in and again it's free to sign up so go ahead and check with it okay uh, let's log in with Facebook here okay now there's a couple of them here Here's one that we're working on right now. Okay, so this is where uh, actually for uh, someone in the office that is a wedding minister, uh, this is a service that she provides, and so she was going to go ahead and take a look at it. So this is her, well, basically what she does. She will offer to perform a wedding for free through WeBox. Well, when you're going to go in and do this, okay, um, you can take a look at it and say, okay, well, what is it that I want to go ahead and do? Okay, um, there's a Facebook fan tape. You can go in and do Groupons. You can do all kinds of different settings. Okay, um, so as we look at it, in fact, let's see here. Let's look at this one right here. Okay, now see, I haven't created any offers on this one so if I go add an offer what do I want do I want to add a coupon a sweepstakes an instant win a group deal a reward a deal a custom tab or a vote tab okay so we just we go in and there's all kinds of things here so here's what I would recommend as you're going in click on each one start to explore them Okay, see what you can do. All right. Now, for WooBox, we always want to look at our pricing. Okay, for the free, you can do uh, there's uh, you can do as many pages per month. Uh, you don't have a limit on your fan page. Okay, you can fan gate it. You can do custom tabs. There's a WYSIWYG, which basically means a easy to use editor. You can, if you are familiar with HTML, do full HTML support. You can redirect it on a like. You can do an image. You can do HTTPS secure. You can also do analytics, fan versus non-fan visits. Okay, you can't friend gate it or form gate it or limit admin setting access. One of the things is if you do create a Facebook fan page, um, giving administrative access or making someone else an admin, you need to be very trusting with that because they can go in and remove you as admin and you've lost control of your page so you want to think about that okay there's no polls on that one but you can do coupons you can do Facebook fans Twitter uh, you know you can do I mean the list here is really quite incredible um, of what you can do and of course then it gets down into what you can't but there is quite a bit that you can actually do so with that you go in uh, and when you sign in you say okay here's what I want to do go in and play around with it see what you can do to discover things